today we are at the Charlotte Motor Speedway oh. in a very unique tour of the track. Yes, a first for us. Yeah, the Rona <laughs> has caused people to alter their mm -hmm. ways of doing things. Yep. So today we're going to do a driving tour of the Charlotte Motor Speedway mm -hmm. and supposedly it's about a one hour tour of the track, yeah. the drag strip, track, mm -hmm. infield, Victory Lane, I don't know. And then you can listen to the stuff on your radio while you're driving through the track. Yeah, somebody will be storytelling. Yeah, so I'm interested to see how this goes. Yeah. Fast truck today, man. <laughs> Got a good, good setup, man. The crew chief did a really good job. We were really fast in three or four miles. Worried about the last caution. I was worried about everybody to catch back up, but man, I'd like to thank you know Dodge Ram, you know Canon cameras, GoPro. We got a GoPro camera out here on the, on the front, and man, we just we just took them to school today. I really appreciate everybody out there, all the fans out there today, man. Hope y'all had a good time. Yeah, we just had a good time out here. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh man, I don't think that could have been cooler. No. That, that was, was awesome. freaking awesome. We were the only ones on this time slot. Yeah, so it felt like a so, personal tour. To it, yeah. And Babette took very good care of us. Yes. And uh, gave us a bunch of information. And she's just really fun. But yeah, she is a fun gal. Yeah, so it was really cool. <laughs> Those of you guys drive across the track, uh, down Pit Road, uh, on the apron. Didn't get to go up on the racetrack. Yeah. But, uh, but it was really cool and got to climb the racetrack. Climb the racetrack, which works the glutes. Yeah, <laughs> that and you is got to quite drive the on the, uh, the road course. Yes, and that those was cool. yeah, those bump stops are bigger than uh, the, everything is yeah. bigger and, and more person. crazy than what yeah. it looks like on in, per, in uh, yeah. on TV because that banking is just insane. And um, got to pull into victory lane. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Take some pictures there. Thank all the sponsors. sponsors yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> so we had a good time. If you're in the Charlotte area and you get a chance to come by here, um, even during this time uh, where Rona has got everything kind of slowed down and stuff, this is one thing worth doing. Yeah, they still make it fun. Yeah, it's very interesting. You, you, you're in your car, but you get to get out a couple of times, check out the banking, check out Victory Lane. Uh, very cool stuff. Yeah, that was cool. And now we're heading off to the next thing. Yes, we are. Here we go. All right. Today we are at the Carolina Raptor Center. Yes. Just north of Charlotte, North Carolina. And it's not like, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like dinosaur raptors. No. It's like birds of prey raptors. Like, caca. <laughs> so like hawks, eagles, buzzards, uh, falcons. Owls? Do owls? Owls, yeah. Owls are birds of prey. Yes, yeah, so there are probably some owls in there. Um, I don't know what all to expect in there. Yeah. But if it's anything like this guy, yeah. it'll be cool. It's gonna be pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs>
We're at the American Bald Eagle enclosure and this poor guy behind us is hurt. He's only got one wing. Yeah, one good it's wing. So sad. And looks and like one he's blind eye. in one eye. Yeah. So does. I don't know if he was hit by a vehicle or shot Something. or injured somehow. But still pretty. Yeah, he's beautiful. beautiful. And he'll probably spend the whole rest his of his life, life here. here. Yeah. Just so he'd never survive in the wild no. with one wing. But um they're just very cool to look at. He is. He's so pretty. And he's spreading his one his wing. One wing. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. We're at the battlefield trail at the uh, where the hell we're <laughs> Kings Mountain. Kings Mountain. <laughs> the arrow says that way. We're going that way. <laughs> Well, this is the spot, actually all of Kings Mountain is the spot where it was supposedly the turning point of the American Revolution. Yes. Because General Ferguson, who was the British forces commander up here, mm -hmm. he, he was killed here during the battle here and his entire unit yeah. was captured. Yes. So they say that this was the turning point of the American Revolution. So it's really cool. They got this big monument here. Beautiful monument. It talks all about the history of it. It talks about the people who were wounded who were killed on one side it lists the british wounded and killed yes and on the other side it lists the american forces wounded and killed yes. and it tells a little bit about um what it's for it's to, to commemorate right. our victory yes the americans victory sorry brits <laughs> <laughs> We are on a hike mm -hmm. with Ray and Jennifer from Rage and Adventures. Yes. And they took us on a, on a, on a, on a hike. Yeah. It's you a, can see the trail behind us. Nice it's paved nice hike. Nice paved <laughs> hike. A little bit of an incline and a decline. Yeah. But it, Good pace. they didn't take us on what the Brits call a hike. hike. Which was more like a mountain climbing excursion yeah so on this current <laughs> hike <laughs> there's Ray back there <laughs> and Dobby <laughs> on this hike um we did not require any climbing gear Hiking ropes boots, yeah. cleats yeah. uh you know little chalk bags you can grab onto the rocks no and harnesses stuff. No. we didn't require any of that <laughs> like we did with the Braves and Brits um so this is more of our idea of a hike well so, I think it just the British and Americans have different versions of hike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. But this is like a, a legit hike. Yeah. One and a half miles, real one and a half miles. Plus. So yeah. the Brazen Brits took us on a hike. They said it was, it was a, just shy of two, yeah, two miles. Which was like five. But it was, yeah, when it was all said <laughs> done, it was like five. <laughs> and it was like straight up the mountain. We'll, More cardio uh, on that hike than I did my, that our whole year so far with them. Yeah, that we didn't, um, and on this hike so far, we have not risked our lives. No. Limbs or eyesight. No. I felt like all of those things were in, in jeopardy <laughs> when we were hiking with the Brazen Brits. Uh, if you didn't see that video, we'll put a link up here somewhere so you can go back and see us uh, escape death yeah. on the hike with the Brazen Brits. <laughs> escape death. <laughs> well, when we first came to Charlotte, we were a little concerned 
uh -huh. that we weren't going to be able to explore enough to even share. Yeah, because the Carolinas are on a good lockdown. They are on a, <laughs> they got it, they got it locked up tight <laughs> out here in the Carolinas. But um, getting ready to go to phase 2.5. Yeah. And so some stuff started opening back up and all the outside stuff was still accessible. Mm -hmm. So we actually, uh, what we thought we were going to be struggling to get into one episode is, is turned into two. Yeah. So it worked out pretty good. Yeah, we actually got to go bad. see some more stuff. So in this episode, we went to Charlotte Motor Speedway, we went to the Raptor Center, and we went to Kings Mountain. Mm -hmm. And a couple of days of hanging out with Ray and Ray. Jennifer. This has been so much fun. They're yeah. such a cool couple. <laughs> I love them. They are cool. So Ray and Jennifer are from Raging Adventures, and uh, they have their own YouTube channel. So we'll put a link in the description mm -hmm. below if you want to go see their channel and see what they're all about. Um, they are some timers. Some timers. <laughs> so they get out Every and travel now and then uh, in their RV <laughs> when they can. Yes. Yeah. Now and theners. Mm -hmm. That makes Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that term. <laughs> now and againers. Mm -hmm. Here and theres. Here and theres. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we had a really good time with them, mm -hmm. and we had a good time in Charlotte so far. Uh, there's still a ton more to see, so. Stay tuned for next week because next week is going to be more of the Charlotte area and um, we didn't really talk much about the Raptor Center after we got done with there. So how did you like that? That was cool. Yeah. That was a cool place. I think it'd be even cooler when it's in its normal running yeah. when they can bring animals out and sure. in the amphitheater do a little show. Yeah. You know, Birds of Prey show. Yeah, because you could see all of the animals. But they weren't doing any of the shows. We're doing There's the no shows. interactive. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be pretty cool. And it, it was a little bit of a struggle at the Raptor Center for filming uh, for because yeah. of the, the chain link fences. <laughs> oh man, the camera just focuses on those on those chain links. Yeah. And once it gets locked in on those chain links, it will not focus <laughs> on the bird behind. <laughs> the fence so a lot of the stuff we were not able to show so if you're in the Charlotte area yeah. and you're close to the Carolina Raptor Center uh, we recommend going in person because we were just not able to show you mm -hmm. everything yeah but there is a ton of, to see there yeah and we were there for like an hour and a half maybe mm -hmm. it was a good time yeah yeah um, yeah so that's it for this half of Charlotte mm -hmm. we'll show you more next week some more very cool stuff from the Charlotte area. Yeah. Yeah. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.